Hey guys, welcome back to TechFact and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the performance or gaming mode on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and also we'll be doing a gaming test with performance mode on. First you need to go to about phone in the settings and click multiple times on the MIUI version until you see a pop-up stating that you are a developer. Next go back and select additional settings from system and devices, go to developer options and enable the USB debugging. Now take the micro USB cable you got with your phone, connect one end to the PC and the other end to your phone. Next go to ADB and fastboot folder on your PC, click shift plus right click and select open command window or PowerShell here. With your phone connect to your PC, now type ADB devices. On your phone now select always allow from this computer and click OK. Back to Windows PowerShell again, now type ADB shell and then copy paste this code. The required code is also mentioned in the video description. You'll get a pop-up for power settings on your phone. The default mode is balance, simply select the performance mode to activate it. First I tried the Tekken game, this game doesn't have too much graphics but it is good. The controls are nice, you have a couple of attacking modes, stealth mode and also special cards to activate special attacks. The gameplay is nice, it gets harder round by round and this game reminded me of my schooling days when I used to play the Tekken 3 and uh, Redmi Note 5 Pro handled this game very nicely. Next in line we have a Virtua Tennis game. This is a console like game and it is also available on PC and other gaming platforms. I used to play this game on PC and the graphics of this Android game is highly comparable to that of the PC version. The good thing about this game is that this is also compatible with a Bluetooth controller. The controller here I am using the, is uh, this Ancap Evo Gamepad 2 and as you can see the controls are working fine and some might find the gameplay much better and comfortable with the external controller rather than with touch controls. I also tried this game with touch controls and the gameplay is just perfect. Next we have uh, the Riptide GP2 game and this is a water racing game and uh, Riptide series is one of my favorite racing games available right now. This game uh, takes full advantage of the big 18 inch main screen unlike for two other games we have the on screen navigation bar. And just uh, see how good the water effects are on our Redmi Note 5 Pro. Like the Virtua Tennis, this game is also compatible with my Bluetooth controller and the gameplay is equally good with controller and also with tilt and touch controls. Moving on to table tennis game, uh, this game is completely based on touch and uh, as you can see the gameplay is very nice, the touch is smooth and there is no lag.
Next is the most popular game which is Asphalt 8 and I tried playing Asphalt 8 in 3 different modes, first with purely touch based controls, second with a tilt based touch and finally with the bluetooth controller. I did notice some stutters while making changes in the game, selecting game modes but the gameplay is very smooth and I had no issues with all the 3 modes. I tried playing Modern Combat 5 but this game didn't work. The game loaded fine but once the loading was complete, it was asking me to click R2 key to shoot but I didn't have any controller connected at that time and even with uh, the AMCAD controller connected, this game didn't work at all. And uh, finally the Death Studio 2. This is the first person shooting game and the graphics for this game on Redmi Note 5 Pro is very good. The game loaded fast, there were no frame drops or lag and the game plays very nice. And uh, there are no heating issues with the Redmi Note 5 Pro. The device never felt that hot and the battery temperature was always around 35 to 39 degrees C while gaming. So that's it guys about the gaming mode and gaming test of uh, Redmi Note 5 Pro. There will be a video on uh, charging test tomorrow and uh, if you have any questions about this phone, do leave a comment below. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video.